All right, so today going to be talking about a new product that I have uh, designed and now 3D print for the 2JZ, uh, both GE and GTE drive-by-wire throttle bodies. So a lot of people, when they go to this throttle body setup, or they keep this throttle body setup, I should say, um, they use the uh, standard like drive-by-wire setup here. So this is the app sensor. Uh, four wires, common failure on these things. Uh, either way, so they put a, a what's called a throttle lock or they lock this throttle inside so that when you rotate this, the throttle plate itself opens uh, one to one. Uh, a lot of people ask uh, why the throttle plate doesn't move when you rotate this and that's simply just the way it's designed. Um, in this case, it only opens the very last bit, so just about 25 or 30%. Um, either way, so uh, if you have a manual transmission or you're on a standalone um, and have done something to control the auto trans, you can lock this, which does away with the electric motor here. All right, so on this side, you've got the throttle position sensor and the electric motor. Some places refer to this as the uh, idle air control valve, it's not. It actually, this is the motor that controls the whole throttle body. But either way, we can delete this whenever we have the throttle lock installed. We wanna delete this. Um, somebody came to me, um, one of the other guys in the IS300 group and said, hey, uh, I got rid of this, but this big thing is kind of ugly. Is there anything you can do to fix that? Uh, so I did, so I designed and now 3D print these guys. So for this, it's a very straightforward, simple replacement. I'm gonna start off with uh, removing the throttle position sensor. That's going to be used on this. Well, I'm taking this off, so there is a way to also use just the app sensor for the throttle position sensor if you're using a standalone. Um, I will probably have a separate video at some point showing the wiring on that, but basically this has a zero to five volt output also. You wire into that for the TPS, and then you can get rid of this sensor completely also. Um, when you do that, I'm actually going to design a plate that blocks this off entirely. Um, but for this time, we're just gonna take the two screws out of the throttle position sensor, set it aside, and you've got this. So throttle control motor, this is, one to one with the throttle plate. And I've already pre-loosened all these screws but they usually come out pretty simply. Um, all seven screws on this are the same uh, thread pitch. They're all M4 and the same length. Okay, so now they got all the screws out of the way. I'm just going to grab the hold of this and it just slides off like so. We can set that aside, throw it away if you want. Um, then we got to get rid of our throttle control motor. These three screws are usually pretty tight um, in such a way that you can't actually get them off without stripping them with a conventional standard screwdriver. I've already pre-loosened these, but if they're starting to strip and you can't get them off, uh, one, you could cut them, just use a little grinder. Um, the right way is with a impact driver like this. Um, so you get the correct screw bit, in this case, the larger, oh, that was the wrong one. So it's actually gonna be this guy. Um, Phillips head screw there, slide that on there, turn it to the left. Now this is already loosened, so it's not gonna work just right, but turn it to the left, and then you're gonna hit the end of this with a hammer or mallet, um, and that usually uh, breaks them free, in which case, then it just unscrews. And these screws we can uh, discard because we're not gonna reuse them. Throttle control motor, just like so. Set it aside, sell it on eBay, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then you can see the inner workings. 
Um, this gear doesn't do anything anymore. That's what used to work with the throttle control motor. Um, but you can see the TPS lever here. Um, in this case, you're gonna take this plate that I have designed and 3D printed, and it goes on just like the factory piece. It's real nice and snug. Just push it down on all four corners, like so. We're going to our same five screws. Okay, so nice and snug. Already looks a whole lot better um, than that big ugly thing. Uh, obviously, we've got to install the throttle position sensor. So this guy. So there are two little plates or little pads that these are going to line up with. So to make sure um, we get them in the right spot, I start with it kind of pointing down and then I just rotate until we can get our screws in. Now, most people that are going to be doing this are going to be using a standalone. Uh, so the spacing of this doesn't really matter because you're going to calibrate that in the standalone. Uh, if for some reason you're doing this with a stock uh, computer and it cared about the throttle position sensor reading, uh, 0.6 to 0.65 volts is what you're looking for. And you would unscrew these and rotate it till you get that um, showing or reading correctly in the PCM. Um, again, if it's a standalone, it really doesn't matter. You set it wherever you want it, plug it in, and then do your throttle or idle throttle uh, or throttle learn control. So uh, it'll ask for complete zero throttle and then 100% throttle. Um, and then that's it. Let's reinstall this and uh, you're good to go. Now you can do this in the car, obviously. Um, a little bit more uh, reaching involved, obviously, but it's pretty simple and straightforward to do either way. And it does work with the, both the GE and the GTE throttle bodies. They both use the exact same uh, drive-by-wire motor. Um, there is one that's a little different where the motor's in a different spot location, but if it looks like this, this will fit it. Uh, link in the description below so you can uh, order this. Contact me uh, via email or PayPal is usually the easiest way. And I uh, do keep these things in stock at this point. Thanks for watching and have a great day.